Hi there everybody, it's Ninicol Universe, home to this fine and Russian man who brings value to my own experience. And today we're gonna talk about the hermeneutics in Russian language. And it will be a Russian lesson, and uh, you maybe don't know what is hermeneutics, I didn't know it before too, but I learned. It is the philology, philosophical theology name term and it is super kind of science related it is the science of interpretation how we interpretate something and today is our lesson about antique culture and it is tr the translation of antique culture of hermeneutics to russian language because today I will go to the, my university, I study hermeneutics, I study philology, it is uh, the kind of interpretation of texts too in uh, Russian language, and I think that it will be interesting to show you my work that I do right now. We have uh, a girl who will, who will be with me, she's name is Venera, her name is here, Venera, she is uh, my kind of uh, ally when we will talk about the hermeneutics in Russian language and this our presentation, it is our text of presentation. And here is my name, by the way, here is written, Yegor, it is uh, my name and I can open, by the way, it is in a new file, I think that here, yes, it will be better because uh, here is the better quality. And we will read right now my text inside of it and we will try to translate it to English. I will read it in Russian and translate it to you. For you, what's value, what's, what's value for you if I will read it? You will hear the Russian language uh, speaking, like uh, I will read Егор. В своей практике античная герменевтика опиралась на такие дисциплины, как грамматика, логика и риторика. I will read about it and then I will translate it. And you will understand new words, new maybe sounding in the Russian language, how it sounds. And also new vocabulary for you in this uh, science-related topic. Okay? And uh, not only science, it is antique. Antique Epoch, we can say epoch, yes, so we can translate it. Epocha in Russian language it is age. And let's translate it. Epocha in Russian language it is uh, in uh, Spanish it is epocha. And uh, here is epoch. Epoch. Epoch, yes, it is the era or maybe age, period, time, day, days, day. It is kind of the huge period of time. Let's Let's read text. And you can try, try to do this by your own too. В своей практике античная герменевтика опиралась на такие дисциплины, как грамматика, логика и риторика. Let's translate it. In this own practice, in its practice, in its practice, antique hermeneutics were standing, was standing on the disciplines such as, such as как грамматика, such as как and uh, such as grammar, grammar, logic, and rhetorics. And it is E. Okay, next. Знание грамматики обеспечивало понимание языкового материала, тогда как логика отвечала за истинность или ложность понимания. Knowledge of grammatics, of grammar, we are bringing, we are kind of producing, we are serving the understanding of language material, whereas in the same time, in this current moment, when it is kind of uh, the related, uh, it is the when we do сопоставление. In Russian language we call it сопоставление, and in your it is juxtaposition. Juxtaposition. Juxtaposition, contrast, confrontation, collation, matching, okay? It is тогда как, it is the Ja, juxta, juxta, juxtaposition in, in your language. Тогда как логика отвечала. Logic, we are standing. Отвечала here, it is not responding. It is, we can read as a responding, but actually it is uh, the meaning of logic was standing, the logic science was standing for truth, truthfulness and falsefulness of understanding. Понимание, it means understanding and interpretation and also kind of uh, neural networks inside of our mind. Риторика противопоставлялась герменевтике как наука создания произведений. 
Rhetorix was, uh, I don't know how to say it, it is again, противопоставление, uh, противопоставление, contra, 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 contraindications, contraindications, Rhetorix was contraindicated, contra, contraindicated, Rhetorix were contraindicated to hermeneutics as a science of art. A science of art in the meaning of artwork. Произведение, it is artwork. As a science of creation of artwork. Создание means creation. Artwork, произведение. Науки их понимания. Science of them at their understanding. Like understanding of the creation, artwork. Невозможно осуществить понимание, если не знакомы принципы создания текста. It is... It is uh, in, impossible, impossible to do, to do, осуществить means to do, to produce, to produce understanding if you are not familiar with principles of creating of the text. It's a statement of them. Основными понятиями античной риторики были invention, нахождение темы, disposition, расположение материала, и elocution. Его украшение. Elocution. One moment. Latin. We should uh, open Latin. And where is it? So, do we have it? Yes. One moment. We'll switch. Elocution. Elocution. Invention. Invention. Dispositio. 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 Invention, elocution. Dispositivo, invention, elocution. Let's translate it. The main terms of antique rhetorics were invention, нахождение темы, means finding the topic, disposi di dispo dispositivo. dispositivo, the position, the location, position of material, и elocution, его украшение, and elocution, the ornamental part. Elocution, what is elocution in English, by the way? Elocution, oh, it is uh, красноречие, ораторское искусство, дикция. Okay, it is the expression, like something ornaments here. В риторике Аристотеля указывается на необходимость деления произведения на части, на возможность соотнесения отдельных частей произведения с целым. In rhetorics of Aristotle stands, указывается, points to the necessity, to the necessity of деление means multiplication, dividing, dividing, creating divisions, dividing of the artwork, to the parts, to the possibility of matching, соотнесение, actually it is matching, or yes, yes, to, to the possibility of matching his, his parts, like particular parts, like, I mean that we have the part, yes, and they are kind of отдельные, отдельные means uh, Individual, separated, separated, singular, particular, yes. Singular parts, separated parts with the whole artwork at all. The, эта мысль Аристотеля, эта мысль Аристотеля о частях и целом предвосхищает идею герменевтического круга в более поздней герменевтике. This thought of Aristotle about parts and whole, and whole artwork Makes, предвосхищает, means that it is standing before, anticipates, for stall, for stall, for stall, I think so. For stall. For stall, yes, it is like a long time ago. <laughs> And for stall, the idea or hermeneutics circle in more late, in more late hermeneutics. The her hermeneutic circle, it is when you are going learning 
about the text, like from the parts and then from the whole piece. And then again from the parts and again, and again from the whole piece. Okay? In a mini, in a... По мнению, по мнению Генриха Штольца, Арганон Аристотеля и поныне является самым замечательным учебником по логике из всех, что когда-либо бы были созданы. Современная символическая логика – это очень ценное добавление к логике Аристотеля. Let's read it. On the opinion of Genrich Stoltz, organ, organon, organon of Aristotle, for the current moment, even now, поныне, и поныне, it means kind of we are exaggerating that even now, it is stands for the the most powerful, the most greatest, and the most like brilliant student book about logic of all, among among all, yes, что когда-либо были созданы, that we are, have ever created, mm -hmm. that uh, that we are, have ever that have ever created were, okay? Современная символическая логика, current, contemporary, contemporary symbolic logic, it is, it is very valuable addition to the logic of Aristotle. Good, he is super logical person. Next. В дальнейшем, программные, герми... программные герменевтики возникают вместе с проникновением в греческий мир христианства. In the next time, program, programming hermeneutics appear with, with uh, the проникновение, one moment, uh, let's translate it, along with penetration, penetration in Greece world of, in Greece world Christianity. Christianity will appear in this world and then hermene hermeneutic will be changed a little bit. Рели... Религиозные тексты адаптируются к новой для них среде. Христианская религия охватывает все большие и большие слои населения. Religiostic, re religious text adapts to the new for them environment. Christianity, Christian religion makes it more bigger, stands bigger and covers bigger and bigger layers of Population. В, этом в это время происходят интенсивные экономические, культурные, торговые контакты, осуществляется обмен по линии философии и научных трактатов между Востоком и Западом. In this time occurs intensive economical, cultural, marketplace contact, marketing contact and selling contact, sell person contact. Осуществляется обмен. It, uh, it It shows the, the exchange. Осуществляется, it is actually action. It is carried out, materialized, come to life. Also, the exchange came to life in a line of philosophical and scientific tractat. I don't know what's the name of it. Treatises. Treatises, tractate, uh, dissertation discourses. Tractate. Tractate between West and East. Следствием этого явилось бурное развитие переводческой деятельности. And the, therefore it, it was this. Следствием этого, let's translate it, it is uh, thus the consequence of this. Uh, the consequence of this, it is the high intensive, high, high flowing, high, uh, high, high speed high-speed development of interpretation doings, of translating doings. Таким образом, с одной стороны, необходимо было каким-то образом интерпретировать христианские тексты, священное писание, а с другой продолжается ротардиция переводов. Переводов. One moment. Священное писание, it is the Holy Bible. Okay, Holy Scripture. Thus, therefore, from the one hand... It is necessary, to, it was necessary to, to interpret Christian texts and Holy Bible, Holy, Holy Scripture, Holy Writ Scripture. And from another hand, it is the continuing of the tradition of translation. 
К этому времени появляются две школы, с которыми связываются... К этому времени появляются две школы, с которыми связывается начало развития собственно теоретических иде идей герменевтики. In this moment appears two schools. With them are connected the beginning of the growth development of the theorists, theoretical ideas of hermeneutics. And they are, they are created on the basis. На основе двух библиотек возникают Александрийская и Пергамская школа, школы. On the basis of two libraries, there are appearing Alexand Alexandrian and Pergam. One moment, need to look at this at Wikipedia. One moment, we will find it. Uh, I will try to open it. In, uh, in English, one moment. Pergamon, Pergamon, Pergamon School. Their difference... Ah, их, отлич... их отличает взаимное неприятие идей и намерение объединить единомышленников. А, и... и намерение объединить единомышленников. The difference between them, it is the... I don't know how to say it, it is the... Both, both. One moment. It is mutual, recipro reciprocal, relative, relative, non, non accepting, denying of ideas of together, like uh, Alexandrian school against Pergam, Pergamon school, and uh, their dedication, намерение, it is dedication, I think so, intention, intent, purpose, uh, purpose, yes, intention. And their intention to, to connect единомышленников. Connect единомышленников, it is uh, like-minded people. Confederate, accomplice, like-minded person. Yes, to connect my like-minded person. Mm -hmm. Good. В Александрии сложилась школа аналогистов. In Alexandria was created, was adding was uh, kind of it is сложилось it is uh, formed yes formed in alexandria was formed a school of analogists analogists and in pergamon anomalist anomalistov представителем александрийской школы был филон александрийской the founder and the most uh, powerful person представитель it is kind of the the person who is ruler, the ruler, the founder of Alexandrian school was Philon Alexandrisky. Alexandrisky school was Alexandrian. Hmm? Alexandrisky school was school of allegorical interpretation. Alex Alexandrian school was a school of allegorical interpretation. Alexandrians различали two kinds of interpretation: literal или историческая и аллегорическая, признавая при этом приоритет последнего. Александриан people, Александриан school, Александриан school said that they were, they were seeing two things, two, two interpretations. Буквально, literal, literal or historical and also allegorical. One moment, allegorical. Allegorical. Yes, and allegorical. Allegorical, what does it mean, by the way? Allegorical, conti or containing allegory. Allegory, what is it? A story, poem, or a picture that can be interpreted to reveal a hidden meaning, typically a moral or political one. Okay, 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 okay. And to one moment, task manager, I opened uh, randomly right now the one thing called Photoshop. Oh, 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 I closed something. I hope that I closed not a really important file. Okay. And uh, the literal, буквально, I think so, it is translated this way. Literal, verbal, textual, diplomatic, okay. Literal and his or historical. And allegorical, признавая при этом приоритет последнего. And uh, they were saying that the most prioritized it is allegorical. Пергамская школа. Виднейший представителем которой являлся Кратес, строила свою концепцию, основываясь на единственно возможном способе толкования – историческом. Pergamon School, one of the 
one of the founders of whom, one of the co-founders and the most valuable person was Kratos. This school was building their concept standing, basic, in, I mean that uh, basis of what was on the only one, <laughs> only one thing that could be possible. It is historical interpretation of interpretation, the, the approach of interpretation, historical. Mm -hmm. Представители Александрийской школы составляли комментарии к трудам Платона и Аристотеля. The people of Alexandrian school were creating comments and uh, comments to the labors, to the works, artworks and nice works of Plato and Aristotle. В их комментариях особое внимание уделялось логическим трудам Аристотеля, и в целом можно сказать, что труды александрийских неоплатоников отличаются уверенностью и стремлению дать натуралистические толкования комментируемых работ. And in their commentaries, the most valuable part of them, and they were investing time in, in the logical, logical works of Aristotle, and on the whole or all at all they can we can say that all the works of alexandrian of alexandrian neo neo plato followers they are differencing of the umerenosti one moment uh, moderation temperance sobriety modesty of the modesty and the desire strive to to make natur naturalistic, naturalistic interpretation to the commenting works. К этому периоду интерпретация перестала восприниматься как бога вдохновенное, вдохновенное искусство, постепенно преображая систему теоретических правил, чему способствовало соперничество школ между собой. In the spirit, interpretation became stopped, перестала stopped being interpreted as the theological art and uh, this started to reinforce themselves to the system of theoretical rules and uh, the conc conc competence competence between school they are they are kind of fulfilling with power it чему способствовало соперничество школ между собой. It is, uh, that's why it appeared, okay? Because of the, they are always compet competitiveness. И историческое, и аллегорическое толкование не были свободны от необходимости следовать правилам интерпретации процедур. And historical and allegorical interpretation were not free of, of usage, of rules, of interpretation of procedures. It means that they used the same rules, but, uh, but with different meanings. In в это время в древней Греции и Риме применяются и практические формы интерпретации, необходимые в связи со столкованием писем, правовых источников и применения их юристами при разъяснении разбираемого судебного дела. And in this time, in ancient Greece and Rome, appeared, применяются, used used uh, practical forms of interpretation, used practical forms of interpretation, also, also practical forms of interpretation, used, that are necessary because of the истолкование писем, because of the needing of interpretation of letters, sources of rights, like laws and things of this nature, like jurisdiction, things and usage of ju lawyers and jurisdiction people, lawyers uh, to, to interpret the, the court deals, interpret court files documents, okay? In epoch, ah, в эпоху раннего христианства получает свое дальнейшее развитие Александрийская школа во главе с Климентом Александрийским. И возникает антиохийская школа во главе с Евстахием Антиохийским. And here's, in epoch of the early Christianity, there are the 
the growth, we see the growth of the and development of Alexandrian school in and his ruler CEO of Clementon Alexandrisky. And also there are there is appearing anti Antiochic Antiochiska Schola. One moment, I think that this Antiochic and an Antiochic. One moment, uh, we will try to find yes, and uh, to English it is anti anti. One moment, let's uh, in and his ruler of Yevstafi, master Yevstafi Antiochiski Antiochic catechistical school of Antioch. Antioch, one moment, Antioch. Let's translate it. Catechetical School of Antioch. Okay, yes. Catechetical School of Antioch. And uh, here is. В Александрии традиции толкования античных классиков экстраполируются на толкование Библии. In Alexandrian tradition, the interpretation of antique classics extrapolated. One moment. What? How to say it in your? Extrapolated. Extrapolated. Extrapolated uh, on the interpretation of a Bible. Как и ранее, Александрийская школа придерживается аллегорического толкования. As it was before, Alexandric school stands for allegorical meaning. Его основной принцип заключался в том, что наряду с буквальным смыслом в каждом слое может присутствовать более глубокий, скрытый смысл, выявление которого и есть задача толкователя. And they stand that behind the main, and, and their main principle was standing for that with, among, among the literal meaning, there is the more sincere, more deep, sacral, and also inner, inner, inner thought, inner meaning that could, uh, that stands, and it is the the task of the interpreter, of the person who reads the material and tries to interpret it. And next, uh, next thing, Antiochiska школа признает в качестве программного дословное толкование, сочетающее в себе грамматическое и историческое понимание текста. Antiochic school stands for the quality of programming and uh, super literal, literal Дословное, one moment, so we can, it is verbatim, 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 literal, literal interpretation that combines uh, inside of it uh, grammatic and historical understanding of the text. Antiochit, Antiochitze, one moment, Antiochitze, Antiochitze, Antiochic minded people. Как сторонники, и, и, как, сторонники, как сторонники историка грамматического толкования настаивали на единственном смысле писания, александрийцы признавали наличие дополнительных смыслов у слова. Antiochic people as a, the standards for the historical grammatical interpretation, they were standing for the only one, only one thought of the... Holy Bible and uh, Holy Scripture and Holy Wit and uh, Alexandri Alexandri Alexandrian people minded, they are we are standing priznavali. It means the recognized, confess, accepted, accepted, admitted, only uh, admitted also the adding some of the new formulas and new thoughts of the of the world. Wilhelm Dilte, Wilhelm Dilte, it is the person who will be next. Wilhelm, Wilhelm Dilte, немецкий философ и теоретик германевтики 19 века, считал, что противостояние двух школ имеет всемирное историческое значение. Wilhelm Dilte, the Deutsch, the Germany, German philosopher and theoretic of hermeneutics of 19th century. He he was standing, считал, means that he, he was considering, considered that this kind of confrontation, confrontation between two schools, it is the 
the whole universe, the whole world, whole world history meaning stands for it. It is like super powerful thing. К этому времени оформились буквально исторические, аллегорические, грамматические виды толкования. In this period of time were created lit, lit, liter, literal and verbalism, verbalim, verbalim historical type, allegorical type and grammar type of <laughs> types of, of interpretations. Okay, it is uh, that three things appeared and uh, like literal, historical, allegorical and grammatical. Amazing, we've read it. Thank you a lot, guys. Thank you a lot. I hope that you enjoyed it. And uh, let me know in the comment section below what's, uh, what was in interesting for you, what you learned. Maybe you learned new words for you and even in your own language. Hermeneutics, it is amazing. And I have kind of five minutes and uh, I need to go to the Moscow. I will do a reading it in in Russian language. And I mean, not reading, I will present, present it to my classes to speak about it and about Alexandrian school that we were standing for the one moment. Uh, da, 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 da. Ah, Alexandrian school, we are standing for the different meanings and uh, like we know that it is uh, allegorical thing and uh, the Antioch, Antiochic, Anti Antiochiska school Школа. Antiochic school, we are standing for the, like, only one, and that's all, and grammar, and only historical corrected, and that's all. It is, like, different meanings, and uh, we have two schools, and we always can look to the, some things through this. And also, some things uh, of Aristotle, of rhetorics, stand for the, we were reading that uh, his works of looking at things, like the whole part and the small part and the part of the whole, it is the predicator of the forecaster of the hermen hermeneutic circle in the future. And uh, yes, we can look to this antique. Yes, 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 yes. Or rhetoric. Ta -ta 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 -ta. Yes, in rhetorics it was was said by Aristotle. In rhetorics of Aristotle it was said also then appeared two schools of Pergama, Anomaliste, Analogiste, Alexandria, it is analogists, and Anomalist, it is the person who is watching like only one, and that's all. Anomalist, I think so. Maybe. Okay, need to read uh, more about it. But thank you a lot for watching. Improve Sal Daily, go forward and uh, learn new facts, learn new, new things, and everything will be fine. See you next time.